But let's go to Scan Surprise. Okay, this one is a relatively short challenge. So Scan Surprise from Forensics. I've gotten bored of handing up flags as text. Wouldn't it be cool if they were an image instead? Okay, so one big hint about this challenge right here is that uh, it says here QR code. Actually, you know what? We can't act. We can't solve this challenge using the web shell um, because the web shell can't uh, the web shell can't read can't read images. Or rather, we can't open images in the regular way with the web shell. Um, that's okay. So what we can do is we can go to challenge.zip and just download it. Just download the file to our regular old computer. And inside of the home directory right here, the CTF, drop in, we have a flag.png file right here. And just because we're in a hurry, we'll just put it on the, web, on the uh, desktop. Okay, and we see that flag.png is a QR code. So if you have if you have a cell phone, you can uh, you can scan the QR code with the cell phone, and that's going to get you that's going to get you the flag. But what you can also do is you can make use of a website that uh, that scans QR codes for you. Okay, here's another one. Hmm, this one doesn't look so great. Okay, here, this here's another one where you can upload a QR code. Okay. Okay, and in the uh, in the results, you see here it is the Pico CTF flag. So you can copy that, and then go back to the, the challenge page and paste in your flag, submit the flag, and you're done. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel, and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also. Click on the like button, and if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.